also because I want really to um, dig again in the project you're doing. One of the interesting projects is muscle regeneration. <laughs> and yeah. as you mentioned, the new, uh, new research that there is uh, maybe a new US suffer from volumetric, uh, around 500 patients in US suffer from volumetric muscle loss. And one of the interesting, uh, I think, in your description that uh, you m maybe mimic the muscle architecture, and as well as you figuring out what be uh, the growth parameters that you can uh, maybe regenerate or maybe reinvent in your design. So if you can tell us about that, because I think it's very interesting how you approach this problem and how you figure out the growth parameter in, um, in a human being. Yeah, so yeah, that's why I'm developing you know, a soft actuator to you know, help the patient who lost you know, arm and then leg. And in this case, like, we need to give them, you know, um, like a, a patient like a, a thick vascularized muscle tissue. So, but when, we when I create a thick vascularized muscle tissue, one of the major challenges is like uh, um, how to create a vessel network within the thick muscle tissue. Without the vessel, which can provide oxygen and nutrient, then most of the cell might die in the thick uh, tissue cancer, even in vitro and vivo. Those are major challenges so to combine, but a muscle and vessel are, are like different uh, stiffness of the material. Then, and then you need to combine both, uh, you know, two different materials, which is stiff and you know, so stiff and hard, and combine together. You need we need to create a vascular muscle tissue. So in this case, I use like a bioprinting technique to easily integrate, uh, incorporate two different materials using multi-material printing technique, and also using the biomaterial. This biomaterial is good for the differentiation of the stem cell, also the maturation of the muscle, also formation of the vessel. So I have been studying for many different type of biomaterial to find which material is good for the muscle and which material good for the vessel. And we already define and then make two different, uh, you know, the material category. Then they we pick the good material which can be uh, printed. That and then uh, and then we can create basically rise the sca uh, scaffold using bioprinting technique. Another point is for important point is like a cell source. So we can using many, we can try many different type of source, but when you implant this in vitro cultural tissue, we have to minimize immune response with the, uh, of the patients. Then also we need to improve the integration of this in vitro cultural muscle tissue into the uh, injured area. Then now it's very promising uh, cell source is IPS derived uh, the muscle cell, IPS derived the stem cell, which can obtain from you know human and skin, uh, skin tissue. So this IPS cell can uh, differentiate to the, um, the muscle tissue or the vessel. Then and then when we use this uh, patient cell and combine with this advanced biomaterial and microfabrication technique, which is bioprinting, then we can create personalized vascularized muscle tissue. Then it improved, definitely I believe this system can be improved muscle and tissue regeneration for the patient. That's very interesting indeed. And uh, maybe ask a lot of question here about what first, what could be the limitation you face already? Um, because when you speak about smart material, we try to combine different material with different mechanical properties. Sometimes we have issue about adhesion, or maybe delamination happen, and we try to combine live cells with smart material. And if you can tell us what could be still limitation for you? Yeah, of course, a lot of limitations. <laughs> so, cause you know, mostly efficiency. So biomaterial, you know, can make, uh, can, you know, maintain cell viability. But this means that the cell show their function, right? Then, and then most important, we can mimic like a muscle contract. It's hard to uh, make, hard to, you know, mimic the function of the muscle. Meaning like our muscle is very strong. And then you can, you know, it's very, if it has good mechanical property, also they show contraction behavior is extremely, you know, useful and efficient with low power energy, right? Low, uh, low power then and then but um it's still a lot of challenges to mimic those function and efficiency uh, with in vitro cultural tissue this is the major issue 